I'm Sylvia Bernstein, and this is my aquaponic greenhouse. Just to explain what aquaponics is, it is the, the marriage of hydroponics with soilless growing and aquaculture and raising fish. And so what happens in aquaponics is that you have your, your fish water that creates waste. There's, there's um, fish waste in there. That gets pumped up into the media bed where the plants are growing. There is naturally occurring microbes in the, the media that actually convert the ammonia from the fish waste into nitrates that become an, an available food for the plants. And it's actually a really, really good, uh, perfect food for the plants. And so aquaponics is this wonderfully sustainable symbiotic relationship between fish and plants where you're actually solving the problems of aquaculture or how you get rid of the waste and you've created an organic hydroponic solution. So what I'm gonna do is, is take you through the greenhouse, uh, show you what we've been doing here. Um, this first bed is really mostly dedicated to tomatoes. I've got a kale plant over here that I can't quite seem to let go of. But this is my oldest system. We actually had this growing over the summer out on our deck. Uh, you'll see that the trout, in, I mean the tilapia in here, I've had since May of last year. So they are just about to harvest size, uh, which is about 12 inches or a pound and a half. Uh, so pretty soon we're going to have a nice tilapia dinner if I can bring myself to actually do that. <laughs> so these tomato plants are uh, were started in October. Um, we're getting some really nice harvests off of them now and just, just really yummy uh, tomatoes. Over here, got some peppers. Uh, peppers and leeks, broccoli, this is uh, snow peas up here. Uh, so a nice wide variety. One of the nice things about um, hydroponics and aquaponics is it's really easy just to rearrange your plants. You can just take them out like this and then just stick them wherever you want them to be. Plus I was starting to get some insect issues and so what I did was just took the plants and swished them in the fish water the fish get a nice treat of the insects and it washes all the insects off. So it's a really super easy way to garden. The media that the plants are growing in, this is called hydroton. Hydroton is an expanded clay pellet. It's super light, holds a lot of water and moist, uh, air, and it is really easy to work in. So you can also use gravel. The gravel is a little tougher on the hands when you stick it in, so I prefer to use hydrogen. This bed over here, we've got some more broccoli, some beans, some basil. This bed is all herbs. We've been harvesting just tons and tons of basil off of here. Um, we've got dill, some thyme, parsley, oregano. And then this is our cucumber beast. So this guy is, is planning on taking over the greenhouse at some point. Um, we get about four cucumbers a week off of this vine over here. We have three fish tanks. There are two 200 gallon tanks. This one, as I said before, has the bigger tilapia. There's about 20 tilapia in here. The other one has about 70 tilapia fingerlings. And this tank here is potentially a 300 gallon tank and it has a variety of tilapia and goldfish and uh, there's an Oscar in there and a Paku. And so in, in aquaponics you can really work with any fish that's a freshwater fish. You wouldn't want to be introducing salt to your plants. And just fish that, that interact well together. So these are all vegetarian fish. They all live at approximately the same temperature and they all have the same water requirements, I mean oxygen requirements, and so they, they coexist really nicely together. So that's uh, aquaponics. It's just such a great way to grow. It uses a tenth of the water of soil-based gardening um, and the fact that you can organically grow fish, you know, a protein source along with your plants is just, it's just I think it's got a big future.